Did you know that your TV remote can actually control your soundbar, video streamers, or game console without programming it? So here I have my TV remote and I'm gonna use it to control my TV, a video streamer and home theater receiver. So when I hit the power button on the remote, it not only turns on the TV, but it also turns on the speakers and the video streamer without me having to program it with any special codes. And not only does it automatically power all of the devices on or off, but the volume buttons are controlling the volume on the receiver or soundbar. It also allows me to navigate around on the video streamer so I can access all of my favorite streaming apps right from the same remote. You can even control other devices like cable boxes, Blu-ray players, or game console like an Xbox or PlayStation. And hitting the power button to turn off the TV also turns everything else off automatically. And if that wasn't cool enough for you, it also works the other way around. If you prefer using the video streamer remote like an Apple TV, Roku, or Fire Stick, you can use that remote instead. Your streamer remote can automatically automatically power on your TV and soundbar when you turn on your streamer. And the volume buttons will still automatically control your soundbar or speakers so you don't need any other remotes. All right, so how do you set this all up? Well, first you need to make sure that all of your devices, including your soundbar, are connected using HDMI cables. And if you do have a soundbar or home theater receiver, you need to connect it to the port labeled ARC. Then you need to make sure that HDMI CEC is enabled on your TV. CEC goes by different names depending on TV manufacturer, Samsung calls it AnyNet Plus, LG calls it SimpLink, and Sony calls it Bravia Sync. You'll also want to make sure that your sound output mode on your TV is set to HDMI and make sure your soundbar or receiver is set to the HDMI input. Once you get everything set up, you'll need to unplug everything for a few seconds and plug it back in. I know it sounds weird, but it helps everything to reset. Once you do that, everything should work perfectly and you can put all those extra remotes away.